So today we're working with none other than AI vocals, man. But not only AI vocals, we have a uh, AI vocal plugin today. I've heard nothing about this. I found this thing out on accident, and I'm gonna show you guys where I found this. So I was on UAD's website, just looking around, seeing what like they had new. I was really checking when their their sale ends because I have one plugin I need to buy. So I clicked on learn more or whatever. Yeah, learn more. So I clicked on learn more and it took me to their site. It said Sound ID Voice AI. Now this is from a company called Sonarworks. S O N A R W O R K S dot com. Seven day free trial. And then when it comes to pricing, it's a hundred dollars to buy the plugin. So you get twenty eight studio grade voice models and then twenty two creative instrument models. So you could take your voice. Take your vocals, transfer it to 28 different type of voice vocals, or you can do a, a, a drum sound or loop or a melody and transfer it into an instrument. Now, this is similar to what I heard about came out last year. So there's a company called Sound Labs. UMG Universal Music Group teamed up with a company called Sound Labs, and they made a plugin called Mic Drop. So they launched this summer or last summer mic drop. It's a real time AU VST3 AAX plugin. It empowers artists and producers to explore bleeding edge vocal transformation, including voice to voice, voice to instrument, speech to singing, and a myriad of previously impossible vocal transformations. Together, UMG and Sound Labs are collaborating to allow UMG artists to create custom vocal model that will be available to their exclusive creative use cases and not available to the general public. So if you're an artist under UMG, you'll have access to this. If you're a producer under UMG, you'll have access to this, which I'm sure they've already been using it. I need to sign a deal with UMG just to access to this thing because this would be dope to use. This was the first time I ever heard of a plugin coming out like this. And I said, man, it's only a matter of time before a company makes something for like the average producer or the average artist. Sonarworks came out with the Sound ID Voice AI. So if we go over to the DAW, so I'm working inside FL. This is the actual plugin. Now the way it works is in FL, you have your channel rack. So this is like all my faders or whatever. And then on each channel, you can put effects. So it works like just like any other effects plugin. In FL, you go here to this little arrow. You hit refresh plugin list fast scan. After it scans, any new plugin you installed will pop up. And you just go into the effects section and then grab the sound ID voice AI and then drop it onto the channel rack as an effects plugin and then it open up as an effects plugin so the way it works is you can demo it for seven days and they give you nine thousand free tokens to use your first time so if i go over to the demo track so i re recorded this real rough rough draft hook this is me singing i don't sing i am not a singer my singing is trash so i'm gonna play this back real quick and just let you guys hear the rough draft Yeah, so that's that's my hook. In situations like this, you got to lay a demo so that a singer can understand where you're trying to go with it. You know what I mean? Um, I first originally did it with auto-tune. When I ran it through here, you could hear a lot of flutter from the auto-tune. So then I had to re-record it yesterday. So the way this works is I solo this, this vocal, which you really don't have to solo it as long as there's nothing else on that same channel. And then I kind of start a little bit before the vocal because it says capture but it doesn't let you hit record until you press play so you got to press play and then hit capture and then record it so if you start it right at the start of the actual audio we're going to hit play up here and then we're going to hit capture here and it's going to record it first i've been up and i've been down ain't no one that can break me okay so now it recorded it and it says to start processing, it's going to charge 140 tokens to process this. And then now you just go into the plugin and you choose what voice modeling you want to use. And then if you wanted to do an instrument, you could go to creative and pick an instrument. So the closer your source material is to whatever key the vocal is, the better I think it's going to come out. 
So it's saying female adult, bright, warm, raspy, chest voice, best input pitch E4. So this one worked pretty good with my vocals. So once you record it, you hit start processing. Now it's going to transfer whatever you recorded into the plugin into the AI vocal that you choose. So you can go select which AI vocal you want to choose. So there's kind of a glitch in the plugin when it comes to the preview, preview um, option. But sometimes when you first open the plugin, you can go preview all the vocals. And it just, each one says, this is my voice. And it's just in the sound of the voice. All right, so now it worked. So it says AI voice enabled because you could take it on and off. And I, I said process it through the Rebecca vocal. So now if we play it back. I've been up and I've been down. Ain't no one that can break me. I've been lost but now I'm found. I'm the only one that can make me. Not too bad. Not too bad. Like that came out pretty good. So here's the first one. So this is uh, Jasmine's. The jas Jasmine came out good from for my voice. Jasmine is right here. This one came out good. And then so you can favorite them. The ones that you like best, you can favorite them in the list. So that's an example of the Jasmine vocal with from my voice to Jasmine vocal. So my voice is kind of higher pitch. So I had to try a couple different ones, but that's just one vocal layer. So that's what you kind of get with one vocal layer. So now we're going to go where I tried it another way with two vocal layers. So I did the Charlotte vocal and then the Rebecca vocal. So this is two different ones layered um, running through this vocal chain that I got and then this is what we got this one kind of sounds a little more fuller not necessarily better but more fuller Now, keep in mind that is coming from this right here. I've been up and I've been down. 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 Ain't no one that can break me. I've been lost, but now I'm found. I'm the only one that can make me. So we was able to get that from that. You know what I mean? My singing is super rough. So if you can sing fairly decent, like you can fairly hold a note or change notes fairly decent then yeah you'll get a lot better results like i said you're only as good as the source material you're working with but that's pretty impressive to be able to get that from that that's getting that's what we got from using sound id voice ai from sonar works like i said i'll put the link in the description it's the same company that does the room correction software for uh, uad yeah so now they offer this monitor controller room correction it's the same company sonar works and it's very similar to the mic drop plugin that universal music group in partnership with sound labs made with all umg artists they have a version of it available for the every average day creator so it'd be something cool to check out you can demo it for free for seven days and they give you nine thousand tokens i didn't process about a dozen different vocal takes and I still got 5,120 tokens left.